Hello, it is my job today to make a video about numbers 11. I was originally going to do all the ones in between Emma's last video and mine, but there is a lot to cover from 11. I don't have that much time to make this video. So, it starts out with the people of Israel complaining yet again, except this time instead of water, they're complaining about food. Uh, and God's judgment kind of manifests around their camp in the form of fire, specifically around the outskirts. Uh, then Moses prays, and God's judgment is delayed. For now, that is. That'll come back into play later. Uh, just like last time, they lament about how good they thought they had it in Egypt, even though they were slaves and they were treated horribly, and they lamented about their lives being horrible back then. They still thought that their lives would be better in Egypt than, you know, being protected by God. They're wrong, but they'll realize that eventually. Hopefully. They're not very good at this. Um... And, you know, the people are complaining constantly. They're, like, lining up outside of Moses' tent to try to, uh, get him to summon, like, quail meat from the sky. Or at least have God do it. And Moses reaches a breaking point. So he essentially pleads with God to kill him because he cannot handle the stress of leading Israel alone and having that entire burden on himself. So what God does is that he kind of sasses them back by giving them meat, but hinting that he still isn't happy. Before that happens, uh, there are 70 elders of Israel called, and they gain the gift of prophecy, but only for a short time. It says that they weren't able to continue doing it. And there were two people given the gift of prophecy who weren't with Moses in the tent of meeting when this happened, so they were just kind of prophesying in the middle of the town or the middle of the camp. And Joshua noticed this, and he got a little concerned, but when he talked to Moses about it, Moses was like, no, 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 this is fine. It's my hope that eventually one day everybody in Israel will be able to have the power of the Holy Spirit that will let them prophesy. So Moses didn't see much issue in the people's, you know, seeing it publicly like that. So this is where God gives them quail, and then his judgment comes back to, be, to bite the people of Israel in the butt, because the greed for wanting the quail is punished by God unleashing a plague on the greedy. So if they were, like, asking for the quail, and they took, like, I think ten homers of the quail, then they are punished with the plague. And, uh, I forget what day it was. I think it was Saturday, where we talked about, where I asked the question of how many animals were sacrificed in total in the Bible, and... There's a lot. I was not able to find an exact number, and I did not feel like going through the entire Old Testament looking through every single sacrifice. I did find one source that said 1.2 million animals were sacrificed in a single day. So that's a lot. And also in my research, I learned that PETA takes issue with animal sacrifice, specifically because it's killing animals, and not for any other reason. So PETA continues to be stupid by focusing on the wrong part of the problem. And that's all I got. Peter's stupid, the Israelites complained, and God was sassy today, along with Moses. But God was also pretty sassy. Thanks for watching.